Hey, hey look, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, man. Look, man. Yo, Gotti concert just got evacuated, bro. Lil Migos concert just got evacuated. Black youngster had to be rushed off stage. It was a whole bad, a lot of retaliation, a lot of get back from everything that happened. And, and uh, what I want to let y'all know is it's a learning lesson, man. Y'all got to basically open your eyes. Like we have mentioned for the last few months that CMG, Yo Gotti, Black Youngster, they can't do shows no more. I had just seen it where Black Youngster had to literally be rushed off stage because some crazy dude came and almost knocked him out, man. And you got to look at the fact that it's a retaliation to what happened to Moneybag Yo BM. And y'all got to look at the fact that y'all got to be cautious out here, man. Y'all got to be on y'all T's and crew Q's. Y'all got to dot y'all ass and cross y'all T's, man. Y'all got to look at the fact that it ain't even the older guys that's out here drilling. It's the younger guys that's out here drilling. And they, they real life got the perks. They got the Zans. Y'all got to think about it. People still off the Zs. Y'all got to look at that. And y'all got to look at the fact that these young, hey, these young boys, boy, they don't care, boy. They hit us and they, they down to take anybody down regardless of any money that's involved. Yo, got a concert and money bag, yo, them concert. Y'all got to look at that as like it's a retaliation to what happened with Dolph because they shows one getting shut down until after the stuff happened with Dolph and y'all got to look at it. They was just cool with each other. Money back, yo, he was just cool with young Dolph. So how all of a sudden y'all not cool no more? That goes to show you can't tell everybody what you really like about. Like you can't give a person your all because they gonna step on it and every advantage that they get, they gonna take it in real life shut you down like you gotta realize they took him out sent him up like that's a hey, that's tragic man and that that is is sad because the family's still grieving even after so many months man y'all gotta look at the fact that this ain't like man i'm still i'm trying to get up out of here right now like it's too many people like like people running over each other people falling over each other and this this is not right Hey, man, and you got to realize, too, that every chance that they get when they see him in public, they're going to slide on him. Like, literally, every chance they get, they're going to try to slide, especially when they up on stage, literally, like, hovering over, like, looking over everybody. They singled out. They literally caught lacking. When they get caught lacking, man, it's, more, it's just literally a matter of time. They lucky that, like, the stage security was more on point this time. But the people at the door, man, the people at the door was lacking. They let the dudes in with right the whole up. bottle. They let the other dude in with a whole uh, K and everything like that, bro. He, he brought the K up on stage and literally almost upped it. So that's why the security had to quickly push down Black Youngster head. It was four securities Samoan dudes that had to rush Black Youngster off because Black Youngster a little heavy. So they had to bring up like the Islander sumo wrestler looking type of dudes to carry him off. And he didn't know what happened. They kind of had to yank him with, like, the, the cane, the walking cane. They had to yank him off stage like that. And right before, he's lucky because they was 10 seconds into playing that diss song. He was 10 seconds into playing Shake Some, and, and everything rang out, man. And y'all got to realize that it might be, I don't know if it's a connection between the dudes that ran up on Moneybag Yo concert versus the ones that came over here. But you, what you got to understand is that Really, no matter where they go, they can't be slacking and going out in the public, showing their face when they know that there's people out in the streets that's really looking for them on the daily. Like these guys that ran up on stage, they don't have jobs. They don't have anything like that. So what they do is every day they basically trying to plot and make it so that they're going to all the cities that they're supposed to be at. They're looking on Instagram, looking and see what Black Youngster posting. And it was a matter of time because Black Youngster had just basically gave out his location a couple days earlier. And what happened is that this time when they when he came up, man, as soon as they heard that diss song drop, he they came running up. Dude came from the right side of the stage. He came curved and everything like that. But what you got to understand is that it, they can only do so much to try to prevent whatever, but the thing is, is that you got to do the rest on your own. Like, you got to hold your own if it push comes to so shove. So that's what you got to realize. Next time, it won't be body. It won't be bodyguards that help Black Youngster off the stage. Next time, it might ha be something that crazy that happened where 
um, black youngster to end up spraining an ankle or something worse, man. So you don't want black youngster to sprain no ankles. But if, if anything like that happened, he's going to have to basically handle that on his own without the whole staff there to, like, protect him. And you got to look at the serious details of the whole conference. Like, it's like the confrontation was, like, tremendous. Like, it made people, like, look at the fact that, man, it's unsafe to even go to one of their concerts because, man, should nobody have to be running and tossing and and trying to grab their friend because their friend done failed all because somebody done literally came up and tried to ruin the whole cover, like the whole, like the concert, like the concert ended. Once, as soon as he dropped that disc, the concert ended. And you gotta look at the fact that this ain't, this is not a normal thing that really happens. It only happens when like basically a cause and effect go on. Like, y'all got to really pay attention because lives are at stake, like, with this incident going on. This is not, this not nothing that nobody want to go through. People pay their money to come to these events. People pay their money to basically have fun, not to be in terror. Hey, look, open your eyes, guys. It's a revolving door, and y'all need to understand it's a domino effect on top of that. And what goes around comes around. So basically, with the whole karma situation, it's like it's really there's thousands of karma that has to be sent back at them. And so that's what's going on. That's why you keep hearing all of this crazy stuff that's going on. It's like they have built up all this bad energy and then all of a sudden in one year all the karma releases on them and exposes them for what they really are and you basically what makes or breaks people is how they react off of situations how they bounce back like if you fall seven times you got to get up eight times type of shit so what you got to realize is everybody was kind of you know no one no one on the fan base for them was rooting for them anymore so when the people stopped rooting for them and push comes to shove and times got tough, you see how they still doing these shows to get the bread and next thing you know, man, people trying them left and right, man. Like, you gotta understand that Moneybag Yo and Black Youngster, they are not the baby. They're not gonna be able to do what the baby does where he's dropping people left and right, like, in winning cases. You gotta understand Black Don't Youngster it, and them finna lose some cases, man. So, what y'all gotta understand is that it ain't nobody that's gonna tell on them. It ain't no snitches or nothing like that. It's just the fact that they just got to do their jobs and basically figure out the evidence and say, this. it's for their own good. Like, if the Rico case goes through and justice is done for Dolph, and, and the justice is done for Dolph, it'll be like basically that they will be safe, safer, like being watched by them boys than to, to be out here trying to recklessly do.